Hello Divo Doers, welcome to this new video on selling strategies, namely cross-selling and upselling. Cross-selling consists in offering additional products that complement the customer's initial purchase. On the other hand, upselling involves suggesting alternative, upgraded versions of the product to the customer. Let's see how we can implement these strategies in Odoo to boost our sales. So, once we're on our website application, if we go to the e-commerce tab, we can go to products directly. And here I'll select this item. Now, if I go to the sales tab, I have the possibility to upsell and cross-sell my product. Now, let's start by cross-selling it with optional and accessory products. And could you just explain really quickly what's the difference between accessory and optional products? Oh, thanks, Suzanne. That's a very good question. So, for the optional products, we see that they are suggested when the customer clicks on the Add to Cart button. What happens is that they're able to choose an additional product from the ones we add to this field. Now, accessory products appear when the customer reviews their card before the payment. An accessory product will then be suggested. So, as an optional product, I will uh, choose the sunshine cap. And for the accessory product, I will choose a wonderful tote bag. So I've only added one product for each of those fields, but you can add as many as you want to suggest to your customer. And now we'll upsell the product. So that means that we'll choose an alternative product like, let's say, the white lace, there you got it, the white lace embroidered uh, t-shirt. Good, let's save, and now let's go to our website to see what that actually looks like. So we'll go to the product that we just configured, which is this one. And we see here below that we have the alternative product that we added. Of course, we can configure what this looks like if we go to the Edit button. And here I can change the template. I can say how many elements should be shown if I have more alternative products. Um, just as always, just play around with it. I can also change the text if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it just like that. OK, so now if we add our product to the cart, we see that we have our other product here that appears. This is our optional product, if you remember. Um, so this one is added, and it doesn't substitute the initial product like the other one did before this step. Now, finally, when I proceed to checkout, the accessory product is suggested right here. This way, your customer is tempted to buy more until actually confirming the order. And now you know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our online documentation for more info on this topic. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.